Call the City Council meeting of November 16, 2023 to order. Roll call. Alderwoman Ames. Here. Alderman Catalano. Here. Alderman Curielli. Here. Alderman Jacob. Here. Alderman Messina. Alderman Sosmarski. Alderman Art Woods. Here. Alderman Artie Woods. Here. Mayor, please. Here, I declare a quorum. Please stand, join the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Need a motion to approve the minutes of November 2nd, 2023. I'll make the motion. Do I have a second? Second. Any questions, comments, or corrections? Alderman Artie Woods. Uh, I have a correction. There's another reference to Alderman Woods, but it doesn't say which Alderman Woods. Which page? Oh, yeah. Guys. <laughs> did, did you? I can pull the page for you. Alright. Yeah, I do. AT for Artie. So this way. We don't have Was it in one spot or? Uh, just one in one spot. I mean, I can get back to that. That's fine. We'll approve as amended. Uh, yeah. Well, you, it, was, it was for sure junior speaking. Oh, yeah, it throws me off. He's junior and you're not. Great. <laughs> okay. I'll, just, I'll, I'll give it to you afterwards. It's right. just one spot. One All right. So. Alderwoman Ames, you you agree with the amended? Alderman Jacob? Yes. Okay. If nothing else, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? That passes. Next, do any citizens wish to be heard on matters not listed on the agenda? Okay, written communique. I do not have one this evening. Uh, City Manager Report, Mr. Mermis. <coughs> um, <coughs> Two items both to do with uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, City Hall will obviously be closed, closed on Thanksgiving and uh, the Friday after. And additionally, just in time for Thanksgiving, the city now provides a cooking oil drop-off location at our public works facility at 720 North Central. Um, that helps keep oil obviously out of our sewer system and residential drains, which is bad. Uh, if you'd like more information, uh, please stop by Public Works or you can call 630-350-3530. That concludes my report. Thank you. Next, consent agenda. If no objections, we have two items on the consent agenda. Make a motion to approve the two items. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Roll call. There was no objections, correct? I didn't see anybody's hand up. Okay, go ahead. Roll call. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderwoman Ames? Yes. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Curielli? Yes. Alderman Art Woods? Yes. Alderman Artie Woods? Yes. Okay, and that passes. Next, need a motion to approve the two items. A item number one, a resolution approving an amendment to PCS site agreement with T-Mobile Central LLC for telecommunication equipment at 269 West Irving Park Road. Item number two, a resolution approving an amendment to land lease agreement with Chicago SMSA Limited Partnership doing business as Verizon Wireless for telecommunications equipment at 320 Rikerd Road. We have a motion. Make the motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. Roll call. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Ames? Yes. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Curielli? Yes. Alderman Artwoods? Yes. Alderman, uh, Alderman Artie Woods. Yes. And that passes. Next, committee chairman reports. 
Uh, planning and zoning, Alderman Catalano. I have one, Mayor. A resolution authorizing the execution of the development agreement with um, Cyrus One LLC for Brand Meyer Phase Three. Is that your motion? That's my motion. Second. And that's uh, subject to attorney review. Yes. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Questions? Roll call. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderwoman Ames? Yes. Alderman Curielli? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Artwoods? No. Alderman Artie Woods? No. And that passes. That's the end of my report, Mayor. Okay. Next, Public Health and Safety, Alderman Curielli. I have one report, Mayor. An ordinance declaring property owned by the City of Wooddale surplus for the purpose of selling. That's my motion. That's your motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any questions on this one? Roll call. Alderman Curielli. Yes. Jacob. Yes. Alderwoman Ames. Yes. Alderman Catalano. Yes. Alderman Artwoods. Yes. Alderman Artie Woods. Yes. And that passes. Does that conclude your report? Uh, that, could, that concludes my report, Mayor. Thank you. Public Works, Alderman Jacob. Uh, we have three reports today. Uh, resolution approving an easement agreement for the release of unimproved easements within Maple Meadows Golf Club. That would be my motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. Questions on this one? Alderman Woods. As there, uh, how did we determine that we don't need this? When, is, there, is there something in the future that we- <coughs> Mr. Lang. Talked about different scenarios with- so the easements have been in place for uh, almost 40 years and they've never been utilized. Uh, the surrounding areas that are residential have all been built out and are all fully uh, uh, equipped with utilities. So there's no uh, foreseen need for these easements at this time, but if the, the need does arise at some point in the future, the Forest Preserve has been easy to work with to grant us the easements we need at no cost. There is one existing easement uh, for being used for a water main in this area. Cool. Follow up, Alderman Woods. So were these just to get to houses for, or is this for a main coming out of there? I don't know what the purpose Mr. was Lane. for them uh, okay. in the 1980s when they were established, but I could try to find that information. Uh, one, uh, Alderman J. One, oh, go ahead, follow up Alderman Woods. So how, did, how did we get here? How did we determine, how did this become subject matter that we want to get rid of them? So the, the Forest Preserve is under, planning to undertake an improvement project at Maple Meadows Golf Course, and I'm sure they're doing some house cleaning with some any uh, open easement okay. items that are no longer needed. Alderman Jacob, you were next. Yeah, I think you pretty much answered my question for Alderman Woods, but it, it, in looking at the drawing it, or the map, it looked like the easement was kind of out in the middle of nowhere, so I was kind of wondering what the purpose was, but you kind of said you don't really know what it was for. So. Yeah, it was oh, it's west Lane. of the dead end of uh, Dominion Drive, and uh, it really serves no purpose for any of those units over there. So Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Roll call. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Curielli? Yes. Alderwoman Ames? Yes. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Artwoods? Yes. Alderman Artie Woods? Yes. And that passes. Next, an approval of final payment to Superior Road Striping Incorporated, Incorporated for the fiscal year 24 pavement marking program in the amount of $19,771.51. That'll be my motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any questions on this one? Roll call. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderwoman Ames? Yes. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Curielli? Yes. Alderman Artwoods? Yes. Alderman Artie Woods? Yes. And that passes. Uh, finally, approval of final payment to Globe Construction Incorporated for the fiscal year 24 sidewalk replacement program in the amount of $57,020. That'll be my motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any questions on this one? Roll call. Alderman Jacob. 
Yes. Alderwoman Ames? Yes. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Curielli? Yes. Alderman Artwoods? Uh, yes. Alderman Artie Woods? Yes. And that passes. Um, that'll conclude uh, the Public Works Committee. Thank you. Finance and Administration, Alderwoman Ames. I have three reports, Mayor. The first is a resolution approving a non-exclusive parking license agreement for the use of city property for additional parking for Woody's Sports Bar located at 230 East Irving Park Road, Wooddell. That is my motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any questions on this one? Alderman Woods. If I could have the uh, city attorney elaborate on, I know that we've made some adjustments or? Go ahead. Yeah, so the uh, current, thank you, the current non-exclusive uh, license license agreement is uh, something that we've used in the past. It gives the, uh, the uh, city some authorization if they are not uh, complying with the terms of that. Could be a change in ownership or anything else. So we have the authority under the law to grant it. We also have the authority to, uh, to pull that. The license, there was a reduction in the uh, monthly fee from 450 a quarter to 150 a quarter. Uh, and the, uh, the, there was some uh, six month renewals gonna, by concurrence of the parties. Um, what it does is, uh, and if, you, if there's any other additional language anybody wants in there relative to the unique nature of this particular uh, establishment, the purpose of it was to in, uh, allow for patrons to have access to, right. the, uh, uh, to the parking. Uh, across in the metro lot to uh, or the, the workers to give the patrons more access so they're not crossing at the uh, railroad uh, tracks just a quick question you said 150 a quarter or was that 120 one a month? I'm, I'm sorry 150 a month for 450 per quarter okay the, the original is 270 a month 810 per quarter right right okay you threw sorry. me you threw me there Alderman Jacob go ahead yeah for uh, Pat Bond, I, I think I saw something in there, but I just want to make sure that it's only pa it's only employees and not patrons because of the crossing of the tracks. Mr. Bond, yeah, it's and it's again, it's a non-exclusive easement. It's intended for the uh, those who are employees there to open up the spaces for the patrons. Thank you, Alderman Woods Jr. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we settled on Art and Artie, but uh, that's okay. It'll be a surprise. Well, you nice. both had your hands up. <laughs> I was I was torn. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to so uh, additional language just so that we're covered. I know when we discussed geographic area that a or type of use. So a it has to be a business in town. I think should be in there. B it should be a business within a certain number of yards of the. Uh, train station. Obviously, people down at local aren't going to walk all the way from the train station to local. So, 500 yard, whatever the number is, we think you know. Obviously, uh, community development can look at it and figure out. Uh, uh, I think that it, it, uh, Peter already brought up the that it must be employees of the establishment as opposed to handing out passes yeah. to other people. And I'm assuming that we have no overnight parking. All cars have to be licensed, right? No, all that. Yeah. I thought commercial was already in there, wasn't it? No, maybe I'm wrong, Mr. Bond. Yeah, it, it is, and but I'll. I mean, if it's the uh, everyone wants it, just to distinguish it, because you do have some apartments and and other residential there. You don't want that to become uh, a, a, you know overflow parking. So if you want, I can. It, it can be approved. You know, I'll, I'll clarify that it, it does say commercial, but I have businesses, and if we want to put any additional uh, restrictions, I will highlight that it is for employees uh, in the uh, in the agree in the easement. Alderwoman Ames, Ames as amended. You you okay with that? Yes, I'm fine with that. And Alderman Artie Woods. Okay. Do you have a question? Yes, go ahead. Uh, for the city attorney too, does this license open up any potential extra liability to the city? Or Mr. Bond. Business as usual? Yeah, it doesn't because there's still, it, I mean, it's at a railroad, so there's a, that's an open and obvious uh, hazard, if you will. Um, so there's no additional liability to the city by virtue of the uh, grant and the license agreement. Thank you. And real quick, uh, Mr. Bond, because I know they have a fence and a steep drop. They, does it stay, say there that they have to cross at the crossing, right? Or does it have to be in there because, you know, at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night, 
could get funded. Yeah, I'll clarify. It does have a reference, but I'll make sure that that's crystal clear. Okay. Mr. Alderman Woods. So that's, that's where we depart, because the more language you put in and how somebody's supposed to use it, I think that that's where we extend the liability. I would Mr. Bond? assume that people know how to cross the tracks and they right. have to give directions. <laughs> Yeah, I would think so, Mr. Mr. Yeah, I'm Mike. not going to say specifically. It's just going to say in accordance with, and I'll I'll reference. Yep, uh, general. Yeah. Okay, right. I'm good. Okay, so we have motion. We have second. Roll call. Alderman Ames. <coughs> yes. Alderman Artie Woods. Yes. Alderman Catalano. Yes. Alderman Curielli. Yes. Alderman Jacob. Yes. I think that's it. And that passes. Can I vote? Oh. No. Alderman Artwoods? Yeah. I thought you voted. I had you marked. Did I miss? Uh, no. Get me confused with Art you and Art. You started at the other end. Next session, we're going to have to sit closer to you, Mayor. All right. Next item. We're good. Okay. The next item is an ordinance approving a water purchase and sale contract between the DuPage Water Commission and contract customers. That is my motion. Second. A motion and a second. Let the minutes reflect. Alderman Smarski has walked in at 7:46. All right. Any questions on this one? Roll call. Alderwoman Ames. Yes. Alderman Artie Woods. Yes. Alderman Catalano. Yes. Alderman Curielli. Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Smarski? Abstain. Alderman Artwoods? Yes. Okay, one abstention. All right, that passes. Um, finally, a resolution approving an extension of the water supply contract between the DuPage Water Commission and the City of Chicago. That is my motion. Second. We have a motion a second. Any questions on this one? Roll call. Alderwoman Ames? Yes. Alderman Artie Woods? Yes. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Curielli? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Sismarski? Yes. Alderman Artwoods? Yes. And that and concludes my report. Okay, that passes. Uh, under this, this evening, no other business under airport noise or stormwater. We do have approval list of bills. Alderwoman Ames. I'd like to make a motion to approve the list of bills for November 16th, 2023 for $1,770,032.48. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Questions? Roll call. Alderman Ames? Yes. Alderman Sismarski? Yes. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Curielli? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Artwoods? Yes. Alderman Artie Woods? Yes. Okay, and that passes. Okay, we have no items to be referred, but we do need executive session. Adjourn into executive session, review of the minutes, land acquisition, land disposition, and pending litigation. Do I have a motion? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. That passes.